What's up guys, it's Tony with 4Money. On this episode, I'm gonna show you how I set up for a massive garage sale. Let's do it. First and foremost, I wanna give a huge shout out to all the people who helped me make this garage sale a success. We had a ton of fun and I could not have done any of this without any of their help. So this video is just gonna be the setup of this massive garage sale. If you wanna know how the garage sale went, where we had over $4,000 in sales. I'll leave a link down in the description and I'll also tag it at the end of this video so you can go check it out. It was pretty crazy. So every year, the Homeowners Association in my neighborhood allows us to have two garage sales per year. It's an entire community-wide garage sale where every house has the opportunity to put stuff out in the curb and the amount of traffic that is generated in these garage sales is nuts. So let's take a look at what my backyard looked like a day before the garage sale. My backyard looked like a landfill. And if you're wondering where all this stuff came from, it was two months of driving around, picking up stuff that my neighbors were putting out on the curb. Two to three nights a week for a couple hours per night, I was just driving around, picking stuff up just for this garage sale. So the idea was to start bringing stuff to the front yard on 2 p.m. Friday, the day before the garage sale. This is like 17 hours before the garage sale started. And I didn't start putting stuff in the actual street until maybe 8 p.m. when I knew the traffic was completely died down. So I had my cousin and a bunch of neighborhood kids helping me out. Let's take a look at some of the footage of us bringing stuff from the back to the front. So I was awake for a total of 40 hours for this garage sale, 15 hours of that was dedicated to setting up, maybe 12 or so hours was dedicated to the actual garage sale, and the rest of the time was breaking down or me waking up in the morning. Hey, get the YouTube channel! I do, have you seen the videos? Yeah. All right. It's also one that, that we were throwing like the baseballs. Oh, throwing the baseballs? Yeah. For money. For money. So the reason why I set up a day before was a lesson learned from the previous garage sale. We started setting up at around 4 a.m. the day of the garage sale and people were already showing up to shop and we were not even done setting up. So this time we went a day in advance and started setting up and it paid off pretty good. So in this garage sale, most of the inventory was dedicated to trash that I picked up. So that was my big focus, was to make sure that all of that was brought from the backyard to the front yard. I did not want to be left with any of it. I did sell some Amazon customer returns, some overstock, or I did sell some sporting goods or some shampoos and conditioners, but I knew I could bring that stuff out later. My focus was to get this trash from the backyard to the front yard. Yeah, tomorrow we have the garage sale. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be selling everything from like 7 to 5. For how many days? Just tomorrow. Just tomorrow? Tomorrow only. It's going to be a lot of stuff. So 7 a.m. is when it starts. Until Until 5. All right. All right. We'll see you tomorrow? Maybe. Okay. So at 10 p.m. I took a little break to go put some garage sale signs at the corner of my street and maybe a quarter mile east and a quarter mile west of my neighborhood. That's 
That's all of our signs, let's go. And I will say as part of the setup, I put out a Facebook ad Thursday before the garage sale. And I said, this is the kind of stuff we're gonna have. I posted this picture of my backyard. I had tons of responses. I said, please don't ask for prices and please don't ask for the exact address. I gave a pretty close proximity, but not the exact address because I didn't want people showing up early like last time at 3 a.m. looking to shop. I said, 5.30 a.m. on the day of the garage sale, I will put my exact address so you guys can come shop. So from midnight to 7 a.m., my focus was to space everything out. I also wanted to group everything by category, maybe furniture, toys, sporting goods, uh, lawn equipment, to make it easier for people to shop. And I would say that was one of the biggest things that helped the garage sale be a success, was that if somebody wanted to come buy a specific thing, everything I had in that category was in one spot. So that was pretty cool. And if you're wondering about pricing, I didn't price everything until the day before the garage sale. Literally every single item had a price tag on it just so that the people who were helping me knew what to sell something for. These are the stickers that I bought from Amazon. It was a couple bucks for maybe three or 4,000 stickers. All right guys, that's basically it for the setup of this massive garage sale. I don't do garage sales perfectly, but I try to have fun doing it and of course make money. Most of the money from this garage sale was generated from the trash. It was over $4,000 in sales in this garage sale and over 2,000 of that was from trash that I picked up in just two months. And if you want to see how the actual garage sale went, I'll leave a little link right here. I'll also put a link down in the description. If you got any questions about how my setup process is, or if you think I could have done something better, let me know too. I'm always trying to improve on these garage sales. I wish I could have them all the time, but I'm only allowed to have them twice a year. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. See you next time.